Uh, Honorable Minister, le let me assist you. Um, it's possible you have missed some sessions. On a couple of occasions, we have, I have tabled those lists. And they are in the library with the Parliament. No. Of people that have been incarcerated, of missing persons, including a one John Bosco Chibalama, whom the Prime Minister told us was arrested. So she knows where he is. So, Honorable Minister, please don't feign ignorance of these lists. Kindly go to the library and ask for those lists because we have tabled them severally. But no, if you want, uh, we can uh, retable them for the umpteenth time so that there is no excuse. Let, let's not feign ignorance, really, on no, these issues. No. Now, honourable members, honourable Samuju raised this issue, and now you're mixing the two issues. Uh, and, and then, and then the one is talking about the one over 180 days. Over 180 days. Okay. Over 180 days. So is that understood, Honorable Minister? Now it's understood, right, Honorable Speaker. Otherwise, it was becoming omnibus. Everybody was adding. This. Okay. And, and uh, Honorable uh, uh, Ibrahim, feel free to interact with the Minister and give him information. Please, feel free. Much obliged, Madam Speaker. But the reason I was raising this matter was because it was raised here. And they made a commitment to come and brief Parliament. On mm -hmm. our own arrest, that was MPs the taking a petition to the Kenyan Embassy, myself, the Honorable Mwijuchi, the Honorable Kamara, on the kidnapping of the 36, attending a seminar in Kisumu. And on the deteriorating human rights record in Uganda, including the military torturing people and getting them to confess to crimes they have not committed. And so the government we'll, minister. I will we'll, we'll give that report in two weeks. Honorable members, in the public gallery this morning, we have students and teachers from St. Andrew, Kagwa, Kombe High School. Kawala represented by Kawalia Becker, Abu Becker. Where are the students? Students, and they have come to witness the proceedings. And uh, your, your MP is here, he wants to greet you. Uh, thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. For today, I have VVIPs, uh, Clark. You may not bring students for today. You bring them tomorrow uh, because the place is going to be occupied. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker, for giving way. Uh, I would like to thank the Parliament of Uganda. I would like to thank the Parliament of Uganda for giving the, this opportunity to the students of Gombe High School. I very well know that most of them are, are leaders. Uh, our dear students, this is Parliament of Uganda where laws are formulated. I understand that yes, Gombe High School is one of the best schools that we have in Rubaga North constituency. Uh, uh, when yes, you're here, feel at home. To Don't fear to fingers. ask. Yeah. Witness whatever is taking place. But at the end of the day, I want also to appreciate you as your leader. And I want you, when you go back, talk to your parents that our member of parliament